To quote Cato Regan, the deep inequalities that persist are visible reminders of the effects of apartheid and colonialism. Until these scars are healed, the vision of our constitution will not have been achieved. Considered a third world developing country, simultaneously the most unequal country in the world, it can be said that South Africa's equity gap continues to widen, with the rich getting richer and poor getting poorer. Whilst worldwide, the forefront of the COVID-19 pandemic has led to un unprecedented consequences. According to Statistics South Africa, the unemployment rate has soared to 30.1%, having further negatively contributed to this ongoing detrimental battle. So then, industrial designers need to use a humanitarian approach of development to bring about positive social impacts. But what does this actually mean? How can this approach help in putting an end to the country's deeply rooted cycle of inequality and poverty? The history of developmental studies significantly aids as a guideline, furthermore providing a good starting point. This is because the issues explored in the subject realm overlap with the field of social impact design. This approach utilizes a people-centered approach such as human-centered design approach based on the principle of designing um, beyond artifacts and takes into consideration the ethical and political implications of design. Small-scale community projects should be undertaken where local community needs and opportunities are identified, involving community members, educating them and being educated by them because local knowledge and input is key to help solve local problems. Crucial to note and understand is that every individual's needs of a community is important and should be given equal importance, dissimilarly grouping communities and treating them as one. Being at the forefront of the fourth industrial revolution where technology seems to be the answer to any problem, this can create anxiety. Therefore, industrial designers need to recognize that they should use appropriate technology instead of designing highly technical mass-produced products and systems. To put this into context, an issue that could be looked at is how to create employment for the citizens that have become jobless during these trying times. Instead of flocking to cities, within the local communities, marketplaces can be created, nurturing the needs, resources and talents of communities, resulting in achievable successful outcomes. Industrial designers should make the mantra of my birthplace, I will stay and help build a great nation.